Think critically. Understand that objective reasoning is not part and parcel of a bygone era. Have courage. And have courage to explore and to fight for truth, freedom, enlightened inquiry, and question. Dr. Wafa Sultan's book, A God Who Hates, is valuable in both providing the personal narrative of somebody with the background from that area of the world and the cultural and psychological brew that goes in to making and distilling what for many can be considered a toxic poison. This lady's book provides an examination of Islam from the inside. And you should know there are colleagues of mine here this evening, scholars on Islam, but we view it from the outside. This book is a personal narrative of what life is like or what life was like for this educated woman who was relegated to the class of second status under Sharia, under Islamic law. And the book deals with the fact that this is in combination with people who want to sit idly by in the face of totalitarianism no matter what the descriptor happens to be before that. Day to day living under the reality of Islamic law and morris, of existing in a culture in which there's no room for human values, this is what Dr. Sultan deals with. And she deals with it honestly. She deals with it and they tell all manner. And you should know that her life story, encapsulated in this book, tells of leaving behind a world in which human values matter little, but religious doctrine is everything beginning with the Qur'an and through the Hadith and Sunnah. And Dr. Sultan recites not the legends and not the myths of Muhammad, but the facts of how life, her life under Islam was actually lived. That is a story that types of people who would not ordinarily be influenced by books about a growing threat need to read most of all. Because my friends, it could be our story too. And as the father of a 14-year-old girl, I can tell you that I don't want my daughter growing up like that at all. Yes, that's you. <laughs> My friends, without further ado, the woman that shook the world and one of Time Magazine's 100 most influential people in the world today, my dear friend, Dr. Wafa Sultan. <laughs>